Hello and welcome to the Lost Minds Workshop. I'm J.C. Jensen. So today I'm going to be uh, uh, running a pattern on my uh, Shapoko 4 CNC machine um, that is longer than the cutting area of the machine. Uh, I have 33 inches of depth or Y axis to be able to cut in the pattern that I want uh, for a drawer face. Uh, this is 35 and a half inches long. So I'm going to show you how I set this up for a tiling function to cut it in two steps. All right. First, uh, here at the machine, uh, I created, I uh, made a fence out of some scrap. I'm using uh, three quarter MDF because that's what I have. Uh, and I've chucked up the uh, Nomad number 201 uh, square end mill. And I have it placed, uh, I have set the zero, or set it to zero, uh, perfectly flat on the Z axis. Uh, and I'm about one sixteenth uh, cut in uh, to the edge of the, the, this edge, inside edge of the fence. Um, and what I'm going to do in the uh, carbide motion uh, the jog function screen, <clears throat> I'm going to turn the router on, uh, and then with the uh, increment set it fast, I'm simply going to cut the y-axis along its length, the entire length, uh, in order to establish a perfectly uh, straight y-axis plane uh, in order to set my workpiece. All right, so that's going to go... Like this. Running. Okay, so with that, I now have a perfectly straight, now I know that that sucker is perfect, and I've got a nice crisp corner uh, to reference off of. All right, so now we'll, I'll dive into the software and show you my setup. Tile a project. Uh, here on my screen, you can see this is the dresser that I'm building, and I've got various drawer sizes. I've already done uh, the sketch and the simulation for my smaller drawers as well as a seven inch drawer. Uh, I'm now working on these three eight inch drawers. Uh, I have sized my drawing uh, to my project size uh, here in setup, right? I set my width at eight inches, my height at 35 and a half, and thickness, so on, as we normally do. Note, 35 and a half inches is is the height my cutting area is only 33 inches so here's where tiling comes in uh, so once I'm satisfied uh, that my uh, vectors are all correct and in the right place I'm ready to move the tool path when you, this is opened uh, initially uh, tool path tiling. Now notice I'm in Carbide Create Pro uh, build 777. All right, it gives me this option under the tool paths for tool path uh, uh, tiling. I simply select the tool path tiling. Given the size in this window, uh, well, it, it tells us automatically how many tiles it's going to take to. Uh, to facilitate cutting our uh, pattern. In this case, it's given me two. So I'm on one of two, meaning I will cut the bottom half first. If I select two of two, it automatically reverts to the second section. If I zoom in here, you will see 
this is the overlap area and I have mine set uh, at one quarter of an inch. Uh, let me go back to tile one to the bottom. All right. Again, here's our overlap area. And it shows the same overlap on the bottom. Uh, you can kind of disregard that part. All right, so I'm on tile one of two. I go to my setup. My tile height is half of the total project size. So 35 and a half divided by two is a 17 and three quarter, which is what I have here. The vertical overlap, um, the default setting for this is half an inch. I just reduced it to a quarter. And then X margin uh, is used if you have a, a project uh, that is wider along the X axis than what you can accept. You can also break it up into tiles this way. And this would set that overlap. Uh, mine is only eight inches, so I just set set it to zero. Select OK. So this is now set. If I run the simulation, you see it cuts only the bottom half. Done. From here, I am now going to save this project, this part of the project. Uh, we'll go save as. And this is going to be my 8 inch Oops, spell it right. 8 inch drawer tile number 1. And I'll save that. I already exists. Yes, I know. Uh, let's go with no. All right. So I'll save that. All right, then I go back in here and I select number two. Just for fun, I'll run the toolpath. Looks good. Done. Now I'm going to save this one. Save as. Eight inch drawer tile two. Same smell. All right, so now both of those tool paths are saved. So now all I have left to do is cut it. <clears throat> okay, so back over here at the machine. Uh, you're looking at the inside edge of my Y axis here. Down here in the corner, uh, I've gone ahead and marked the, just put the square symbol here on the corner. This is going to be my reference point. Uh, for cutting both the bottom and the top tile. All right, so uh, I've got my workpiece here, and what I've done is just simply pulled my tape measure from the bottom, and I made my mark here, uh, which is a halfway point uh, for me, which is uh, 17 and three quarters of an inch. I made my mark here. And now I'm going to take my tape measure from this corner, from my reference corner. That same 17 and 3 quarter and place a mark on my fence and I like to you know I'm a furniture guy so being as accurate as I possibly can describe a line at a point and then I'm going to write on this one, uh, 1775. All right, so now I've got that reference to this reference. I'm going to drop it back, my work piece back in here. Everything's flush. These line up perfectly. All right, uh, I'll finish clamping this in place. So I will cut tile one. Then I'll remove this uh, X block I have down here at the bottom. Slide it down until this mark on the workpiece hits my zero reference corner. Clamp it down again and cut the second tile.
pretty easy, straightforward. Now I've chosen to use the manual method to set machine zero, right? So I'm currently at XY and using the paper to set my Z. All right, we're starting to drag. I'm going to call that good. All right, so back at the machine, I'm going to the set zero tab. All right, so back on the screen, I'm going to set my X zero, set my Y zero, and then hit zero my Z. It's coming over to read the uh, the bit on the bit setter. And then it stops back an inch and a half above uh, the actual zero. All right, so now that's done. Uh, we open up Carbide Motion, ready to go. Uh, we'll load new file. Um, desktop, projects, dresser. All right. Uh, so right here, I've got 8-inch uh, drawer tile 1, 8-inch drawer tile 2. So we'll start with uh, tile number 1. Open it. Verify. Yeah, there it is. Looks good. Click done. And now we'll cut it. complete and it cut the pattern that I wanted and then down here uh, at the end so these were the uh, the two vectors that I had that are actually going to overlap it cut uh, per my setting uh, one quarter of an inch 0.2, uh, 0.25 inches past my halfway point so now I'm going to remove uh, my stop and adjust it down so the mark that I made on the workpiece, the point, I am going to go dead on point to point. Adjust my, let me get that one off. Yeah, I can reach it. Still on my mark. We are firmly secured in place. All right, from here, I'm simply going to load new file. Roll down to my, got a lot of them in here. Long drawer tile two, open, verify. I'm using the exact same reference point, the bottom left corner, all right? And this represents the overlap. All of that looks good. Click done. Start job. Start job. It's moving over, telling me to change the bit. We're already there. We're going to resume. Just going to check the bit bit height again. All right, so there was tile one. Here's our midway point, tile two.
came out beautifully. If I zoom in here, all right, there's our halfway. That was our quarter inch overlap. That sucker is seamless. So I don't know how they do it. Folks are way smarter than me. Uh, but learning to use the tile function allows you to do longer material or larger material than what your surface area is capable of cutting. Uh, you can tile uh, along the y-axis as well as the x. Uh, perhaps in the future uh, I'll have a project that requires me to do both x and y and we'll shoot that. Uh, but I hope this video helps. Um, if you uh, like my videos, please hit that like button. Um, kind of helps me out, right? And think about subscribing. Uh, I'm into furniture making. Never know what you might discover. Thanks. We'll see you down the road.